Hello everyone, welcome to another video from my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to create a dynamic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel. Project management software as MS Project and Primavera generates these types of charts automatically. Once you sequence the activities and assign a successor and predecessor for each activity, such diagrams will be created automatically in those software. But in Microsoft Excel, you have to follow a series of steps in order to get a diagram like this. By dynamic Gantt chart, I mean that if you update the duration, start or end date of any activity here in this table, these bars will move automatically forward and backwards. For example, let's decrease the duration of activity number 2 from 3 days to 1 day. and Let's see what happens. As you can see, all the Gantt chart moved backwards. Activity number 3, the duration is given as 4 days. Let's decrease it to 2 days and see what happens. As you can see, activity number 9 is 5 days. If you want to decrease it to like 3 days, this is what is going to happen. So how do we create diagrams like this in Microsoft Excel? Let's begin with the step-by-step -step process. So in order to begin with creation of a dynamic gun chart in Microsoft Excel, I have created a blank sheet. First of all, for ease in our work, let's copy name of the activities, their duration, start and end dates from this sheet. There is a basic formula used in this table which I want to show you before proceeding to the Gantt chart. If you click any end date, it will show you, for example, D5 equals to C5 plus B5, which means that the end date equals to the start date plus the duration. There are no other formulas used in this table, so we will pass this and proceed to creating the Gantt chart. As you can see, the project starts on April 13, 2022 and ends at May 20, 2022. So what we will do is write down the dates on this timeline axis. For example, it starts on April 13, 2022. I will write down April 13, 2022. In order for this cell to look a bit smaller, we will rotate this text and in order to do that right click on the cell go to format cells go to alignment and rotate the text from here you can do it this way or you can write down 90 degrees here click OK and let's make the cell fit for our text that would do it and same time we will decrease the width of the our cell. Now in order to reach 20th May we will pull this to the right until it goes to 20th May. Here is the 20th May and as you can see weight of the cells are bigger than what we really want it to be. Let's see what's weight of this cell in format column weight it's 3 we will select the rest of the cells we will go to up to here we will go to format column weight we will set it as 3 as you can see it's all set now we will set a condition using a formula so the cells representing the working days of each activity are filled with a specific thing like a text or a color or anything as per our requirement. I'll click on the cell, I'll come to the function bar, I'll write the function. The function for that is if you open the you open the brackets then and you open brackets again, click on this cell and then lock the row with the dollar sign. If this value is greater or equal to our start date. In the start date you will lock the 
column. Put a dollar sign before the column name. The next condition is if the same cell we will lock the row. We lock the row because if you pull this one down and you don't lock the row it will move downwards. If this is smaller or equal to our end date. In the end date, again, we will lock our column. Because if you pull it this way, the end date will move too. So in order for the column to be locked, you have to put a dollar sign before the column name. So we have set our conditions. We'll close this bracket. Then, if these conditions are met, what should Excel do? Put a comma, value, if, if it's true, if these conditions are met, then for example, put a letter A in those cells. If not, if the value is false, then leave it blank. Two double quotes and leave it. You should ensure that all brackets are closed. Then you enter. As you can see, a letter A appears there. Let's drag it down. As you can see, these cells are blank. The reason for that is that we set a condition here. If an activity is between the start date and this end date, then put an A. If not, leave it blank. Let's pull it to the right up to the end of our project and see what happens. There you go. So now, in order to change these A letters to bars, we should use conditional formatting. How is that done? Let me show you. Let's select all this area and go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules equals to. Write down letter A here. In here, from the drop down menu, select custom format. From here, select the color of your font. Please make sure that the color of your font should be the same as the color of your fill. So we OK. And as you can see, the Gantt chart is created. If you update any of these here, this Gantt chart will move forward and backward. And if you update any dates, it will result in the same thing. For example, this is April 30, 2022. Let's make it April 28, 2022. So I will write down 28 April 2022. As you can see, it moves backward. Let's do a bit of formatting, as I did in the other GAN chart here. To do that, our background color should be like this. It should be bold. Mm, it should be in white. All this area should have a thick border. This section should have a thick border on its outside as well. And there you go. That's your dynamic gun chart using Microsoft Excel. If you found the content in this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching.